You are listening to the world's most versatile vehicle, the helicopter. For 70 years, it has played a vital role in our lives. It transports our fighting men and their weapons, our leaders and the critically wounded. It helps us fight raging bushfires and rescue people from blazing buildings and freezing snowfalls. It delivers huge payloads to impassable areas. It goes where no other aircraft can go. And for those 70 years, a deadly enemy has relentlessly stalked the helicopter. Brownout. The phenomenon of dust and foreign object debris, FOD, thrown up by the helicopter rotor downwash, whether landing, taking off, or just idling. Whiteout, the sister phenomenon, snow, is equally as dangerous. A brownout can blind operators and pilots. It can sandblast and erode helicopter rotor blades and shoot sand into sensitive engine parts. The cost of brownouts is huge. In Iraq and Afghanistan, brownouts caused three out of four US military helicopter accidents with unnecessary loss of lives and hundreds of millions of dollars of equipment and lost operational time. Specialized helicopter air filters can be in excess of $20,000 US. It's a threat specific to helicopters. It requires a specific solution. The internationally patented Sea Gear Tactical Halibat designed and manufactured to turn a helicopter landing zone into a brownout clear zone. Here we are in the Jordanian desert. These are extreme desert conditions, the kind where you'd expect serious brownout. The Sea Gear Tactical Halimat is in position. See, no brownout. That's the result you want. Here's the secret. Multi-layers of plastic fabrics with a unique open weave design, which inhibits the sand and dust underneath it even when pounded by the most powerful rotor downwash. And rotor downwash doesn't get stronger than under the twin rotors of the CH-47 Chinook. Here we are in the desert of Abu Dhabi as the Chinook puts a tactical Halimat through its paces. The Sea Gear Tactical Halimat combines brownout prevention with toughness and durability. The fabric won't tear or fray and is impervious to petrochemicals. In US Marine Corps trials at Navier Lakehurst, New Jersey, the Marines put the Sea Gear Tactical Halimat through rigorous tests. Can the Sea Gear Tactical Halimat become entangled with rotors? The test pilot used a UH-1 Huey and flew around the perimeter of a 100 foot by 100 foot, 30 meter by 30 meter, 25 segment Sea Gear Tactical Halimat and attacked the mat, attempting to lift it to rip the joining and pegging systems apart. Next, a UH-60 Black Hawk took up the challenge. Again, the Sea Gear Tactical Halimat stuck to its task. Finally, the Marines brought out the big gun, the CH-53E Super Stellion, with orders to kick up the Sea Gear mat. But even the massive 32-ton Super Stellion couldn't lift or tear the Sea Gear Tactical Halimat. Here's why. The unique joining and anchoring systems a combination of Velcro high-spec hook and loop. Heavy-duty anodized D-rings, nylon strapping, and sturdy star pickets, or three-foot metal pegs as used by the US Marine Corps, is the most tenacious available. The tactical Halimat's joining system has been pull tested to withstand 1,200 pounds, 544 kilograms. The additional strap system using the D-rings gives the joining system an additional 2,400 pounds, 1,088 kilograms, making the tactical Halimat's overall joining strength 3,600 pounds, 1,632 kilograms. Sea Gear Tactical Halimat is clever and innovative and easy to install. It's lightweight, easily transportable. Each segment, 20 foot by 20 foot, weighs only 50 pounds. At a minimum, the tactical Halimat can be deployed by three personnel. 
However, an experienced team of eight can deploy the system within 30 minutes. All segments of a 100 foot by 100 foot 30 meter by 30 meter Halimat can be contained in less than 95 cubic feet, 2.7 cubic meters. The tactical Halimat can be purchased with a flyaway kit. Everything you need is in the kit. Stakes, harness, mat segments, repair kit, and a how-to book. You can customize the shape of the Sea Gear tactical Halimat to suit your operating aircraft and move it quickly and easily from one task to another. Once the straps have been unhooked, the Halimat panels can then be recovered individually or they can be left joined together in rows or larger squares. This can save time in future deployments. The tactical Halimat is ideal for rapid deployment at forward, arming and refueling points FARPs, further increasing time over target. Additionally, the Halimat is also well suited around medical and logistical installations and headquarters to keep dust down. The Sea Gear Tactical Halimat is effective. It provides a stable, safe helipad in conditions made dangerous to man and destructive to machine by dust and debris in situations such as snowfalls, mudslides and bushfires. Halimat is a significant technology which avoids the use of environmentally unfriendly methods of dust abatement, diesels or oils. The helicopter will continue to play a vital role in our world in the years to come, just as it has done for the last 70 years. And Sea Gear will continue to help keep it flying by preventing brownout. Sea Gear, innovation in synthetic meshing systems.